I guess you're here because you've watched tons of videos on YouTube on how to play finger picking or finger style guitar and you still struggle with that technique. I understand, you're not alone. Years ago, I used to be in that situation before. I would learn and watch a lot of videos on finger style and finger picking, but when I picked up the guitar, I would play trash. It was really frustrating and I needed to do something about it. I pressed on over the years and I was able to understand the concept. And in this video, I'm here to help you understand as well so you don't have to disturb yourself watching videos and struggling with this technique. So make sure you stay to the end so that you get to watch and know how to play this technique okay so you're welcome to this finger style or finger picking tutorial yeah so like i said i'm going to show you how you can be able to learn and get started with this technique so with finger style your song will sound like this Sometimes, because it requires muscle memory, sometimes when you get started, you might know what to play in your head. But then when you want to play with your fingers, because your fingers have not gotten the required amount of stamina to and, and retention to retain what to play, you might not play the right thing, but it takes a lot of practice. So let me teach you the basics, right? The basics of finger picking. Is as this is as such. Now, on your this is on your right hand. This is your finger one, two, three, and four. This is what I want you to do. On this string here, the first string. Right. Play your ring. Put your ring finger on, on that string. On the next string, which is the second string, use your middle finger there, and the next string following it which is your third string, use your index finger. Make sure you remember this position. Before we move forward, first thing to do is to put your pinky close to this sound hole, just on the board for balance like this. Yes, this is so that when you are picking, your fingers don't move. Make sure you position your pinky place down here. Then you go back, to, you take that position, um, ring finger first, middle finger follows and your index finger follows so that you have this 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 yeah and then the idea is that these fingers depict this melody notes down here and then your thumb will be picking this this and this your thumb will be picking any note on the fourth fifth and sixth so if we want to practice that first thing we can pick a chord let's pick our c major chord and let's try playing one two three four respectively so make sure you, you take position the pinky first your ring finger middle finger index finger then we'll play one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? Beautiful, right? So practice this as long as you can until you get very flexible. Then you can increase your speed until you get to the point where you can practice without getting it wrong. Then another thing you can do is to change the chords. So from C, you can go to A minor. And I can go to F. Alright? Sounds good, right? So, what will make you 
be very flexible and have dexterity is to come up with your own patterns so like you saw me doing i was just doing one two three four you can change these patterns you can go one 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 right two four three four three one two four three One, two, four, three, one, two, four, three. Yeah, or oh, one, four, three, two. One, four, three, two, one, four, three, two. One, four, three, two, one, four, three, two. Right? You can just come up with your patterns. All I'm doing is this is my one, two, three. I'm sorry, this is my one, two, three, four. So all I'm doing is one, two, three, four, or one, four, three, two. So you can come up with your patterns for practicing. Yeah, so that is the basic thing you need to know about finger style to get started. I like you to know that it's not difficult, but it is a pattern that requires a lot of practice to get used to it over time. So Make sure you invest your time in practicing your patterns and knowing um, those patterns, memorizing them. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe and see you around.